<laughs> Having a hardcore knowledge of the tax regime is not something you'd usually associate with being a musician. But staying on top of your tax is actually one of the easiest ways to counteract the ups and downs of a career in music. In this vid, we'll run very briefly through some of the things you should be thinking about to get the most out of tax time. As a sole trader, think about any type of income you've earned this year. It'll all become part of your tax return. So think, employment income, ABN income, partnership income if you're a partner. It's common for bands. APRA and other royalties, or any other income like rental income or interest. Hot tip. Hot tip. There's some really useful software out there like Xero, Dropbox, and Receipt Bank that can help you organize your records as you go. What does it actually mean to deduct expenses? Well, the more you earn, the more you get taxed. So when you deduct an expense, what you're doing is reducing your taxable income. That is the amount of your income you have to pay tax on. This is important because any income below $18,200 is tax free. Income between $18,200 and $37K gets taxed at 19%, but income above $37K gets taxed at 32.5%. So to game this out, if you earned $42,000, $18,200 of that would be tax free. The $18,800 taking this up to 37K will be taxed at 19%. And the 5,000 remaining will be taxed at 32.5%, adding an extra $1,625 to your bill. But if you deduct the $5,000 Ableton synth setup you bought for gigging, your taxable income will come down to 37K, keeping you under the threshold for that next tax bracket and keeping that extra 1,625 bucks in your pocket. In short, deductions reduce how much of your income can be taxed, which reduces how much tax you pay. Okay, so expenses are claimed against the type of income they're related to. So think of any expenses that you've made during the year that help you earn a particular income type. Think, recording expenses against your royalty income, live performance expenses against gig income through your ABN, commissions like agency or management percentages, admin expenses like license fees, insurance, rent, mobile and internet, and general expenses like car expenses or reference materials. But be careful with stuff like alcohol, meetings, clothes, and networking. These things are probably not deductible, so make sure you run it by your accountant first. And keep your receipts, all of them. You can figure out whether the expense is deductible later. If you don't use a tax agent, you'll have until October 31, 2020 to lodge your tax return. If you lodge through a tax agent, you have until May 15 or June 5, 2021 depending on the structure. If you receive JobKeeper, JobSeeker, or any grant funding, make sure you let your accountant know so that this income is accounted for. Also, the ATO has eased up some of their standard requirements to help during the pandemic. There are extensions and payment deferrals that can be negotiated on a case-by-case -case basis with the ATO. Any interest and penalties you copped on or after January 23 can also be eased if you chat to the ATO. And working from home expenses during the lockdown can be claimed at a higher rate too. If you're a musician, there's a chance you can get qualified as a special professional, which means you could be set up for a five-year tax averaging tool called income averaging. Your accountant can tell you more, but the idea is that it's a tax concession that averages out tax liability across five years. This becomes really important when your income fluctuates and you can't pay big tax bills for previous years when your current year is quiet. 